In a quaint antique shop stood a mirror unlike any other, its ornate frame exuding an ominous aura. Those who gazed into it felt a shiver crawl down their spine, as if the mirror held a dark secret within its glass. One fateful day, Sarah, drawn by an inexplicable force, found herself standing before the mirror. Her reflection began to distort, revealing a twisted version of herself, eyes gleaming with malevolence. Terrified, Sarah tried to turn away, but an unseen force held her gaze captive. The mirror's surface rippled like dark waters, showing nightmarish scenes of her deepest fears coming to life. As Sarah's screams echoed through the shop, the mirror's reflection reached out, pulling her into its cursed realm. From that day on, visitors claimed to see Sarah's tormented face trapped within the mirror, a warning to all who dared to confront their inner demons. In the quaint fishing village of Seabrook Cove, whispers echo of spectral sirens haunting the rocky shores. Local fishermen tell of ethereal figures with mesmerizing voices that lead ships astray, their haunting melodies beckoning sailors into the treacherous waters. One fateful night, as the moon cast an eerie glow over the turbulent sea, Captain James and his crew set sail. The air filled with a haunting melody, drawing them closer to the forbidden rocks. Through the dense fog, ghostly forms emerged, their voices weaving a spellbinding trap. The sailors, entranced by the mournful songs, steered the ship towards doom. As the vessel collided with jagged cliffs, a chorus of anguished wails filled the night. In the aftermath, the wreckage vanished, leaving behind only whispers of lost souls. Since that night, the spectral sirens of Seabrook Cove continue their lament, ensnaring any who dare venture too close to the cursed waters, forever doomed to roam the misty shores. In the heart of a forgotten town stood an old, crumbling theater, its once golden facade now tainted with shadows of the past. Locals whispered of a haunting melody that lured unsuspecting souls to its doors. One moonlit night, Amelia, drawn by curiosity, followed the enchanting tune that echoed through the streets. Inside, she found a grand hall, dimly lit by flickering candles and ghostly figures swaying to the music. The air was thick with a sense of foreboding as the spirits danced a macabre waltz, their faces frozen in eternal sorrow. Unable to resist, Amelia joined the spectral dance, her movements synchronized with the otherworldly guests. As the night wore on, the music intensified, wrapping around her like a suffocating shroud. With each step, she felt her essence fading, merging with the ghostly figures. As dawn approached, the music ceased abruptly, leaving Amelia alone in the eerie silence of the theater. She realized too late the price of the haunting lullaby. Trapped in a never-ending dance of the dead, her fate now intertwined with the spirits who sought solace in their eternal performance. 